for something to show Same old places and faces of people with nowhere to go But we're not like them, we are better, both you and I know Grab your car keys and jacket, cause honey, we're ready to go Let's get in the car and you'll drive, we're leaving tonight Hello, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, I am Tess. Welcome, it is lovely to have you here at Blue Skies and Butterbeer. Today I am going to be filming a wee haul of the bits and pieces that I bought in Florida. I just got back on Friday, today is Tuesday and I can't believe I'm home. It was like the quickest two weeks of my life. <laughs> but we had such a good time, it was absolutely brilliant and it's really nice going back into my case and seeing all the wee bits and pieces that we bought and just being able to enjoy them at home. So. Without further ado, I am going to make a start and go through what I got. I think what I'll do is I will start with the stuff that's not kind of as exciting and then I'll work my way forward towards the theme park stuff because I think that's what most people will probably be interested in. So yeah, I will do that. Okay, so first up I will start with the stuff that I got in Marshalls and Home Goods. I didn't keep the receipts so I can't remember which is from where but I think most of it was from Marshalls. So the first thing that I got is a wee set of these four coasters. You can't really see in the camera but they're like all glittery um, and they're wooden on the back and I love spooky season so when I saw them I had to have them and I think it was $7.99 plus tax for a set of four. I'll probably just say the now that everything was plus tax. I don't think there was anything that was tax free. So just to save having to listen to me saying plus tax every single time. We'll just assume that it had tax on it. But yeah, that was one of the first purchases of the trip, a set of four of these. Then the next thing that I bought was this wee set of Ray Dunn bowls. Oh, try not smash them. So I know they're backwards, but one says sweet and one says treats. No, it doesn't. <laughs> One says tasty. They are both yellow on the inside. And um, they were in the clearance section in Marshalls or Home Goods. Can't remember which one. I think it was Marshalls. And they should have an ice cream scoop with them and it was missing. But it meant they were $12. So I was quite happy with that. Um, yeah, so got those. Then while also in that same shop, I found this little planter that's also ray done and it's kind of iridescent and it says peace and love and I just thought that was quite cute for putting maybe like a wee succulent or something in and it was $7.99 as well. Then this is one of my favourite things that I bought. I don't know if any of you are fans of Schitt's Creek but I absolutely love it. I watch it on repeat all the time, totally obsessed and while we were in Marshalls, just check the label. While we were in Marshalls, I was having a wee rummage about the blankets. Not that you need a blanket in Florida, but whatever. And I saw this. I think I showed it in one of the vlogs, but it's a rose apothecary blanket from Schitt's Creek. So it was $16.99 as well. And I just absolutely love it. It's so, so soft. And I know that'll definitely come in handy here in Scotland. <laughs> So yeah, that was everything that I got from Marshalls. I don't think anything was from Home Goods. I think it was all Marshalls. So yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Publix and Target. Um, I'm just kind of putting them together because it was all kind of similar things that we got. So in Publix, the first thing that I got was Sweet Baby Ray's Honey Mustard Sauce. This is it here. I absolutely love honey mustard sauce and it's really hard to get a good one here in the UK. I've not tried this one, but I know Looking Rich at L&R Dreaming always say about this brand. So I trust their judgment and I got this one. 
And then our other brother, Michael, who didn't make the trip, he had asked us for some Polynesian sauce from Chick-fil-A. So that was also from Publix. Can't remember how much they were. I think they were maybe about $4 each. Um, and then Michael's fiance Leslie, our future sister-in-law, had fell in love with these turtles when we all went in 2018. So she had asked us to pick these up for her. So we did. Then, I think these were actually from Walgreens, but you can get them in Target and Publix and whatever as well. Although we did notice the stock was really, really bad. They hardly had any, um, and we couldn't find any mint M&Ms. However, I love the caramel ones, so I got a couple of these, and they were on offer for buy one, get one 50% off. So I think for both of them, it was like $8 something. But yeah, really happy because I love them. Okay, so then on to Target, and in Target I got some t-shirts. I had seen a couple of these online before we went, um, so I had a wee look for them and sure enough was able to find them. As I've just mentioned, I love Shit's Creek, so the first one that I got was this Rose Apothecary t-shirt. So it's really similar to the blanket, and I think it was $12.99. Um, yeah, so I was quite chuffed with that. And then the next one that I got was this Tiana one. I don't know if you can see that. There she is there. So yeah, it's just plain everywhere else. And I think that was also $12.99. And then finally, also $12.99, just check the label. I had seen this on Instagram quite a lot. And it was this princess t-shirt. And it says, kindness grows from within. And that's it there. So yeah, I just thought that was really cute and again, like I say, that was $12.99. So I was really chuffed when I found that one because that was the one that I really wanted to get. And that concludes Publix and Target. <laughs> we have got just a kind of selection of things that I got in places like the Florida Mall. Um, I had mentioned, sorry, I'm just trying not to drop everything. <laughs> um, I had mentioned that I bought new mascara. It was this one here from MAC, Magic Extension. And, oh, it's not focusing, there we go. Um, my mascara ran out while we were over there, so yeah, I just picked that one up. I think it was $25 or thereabouts. Then, in Starbucks, I don't know if you can see it, but it's, it's like a very dark green, it actually matches the headboard, <laughs> but it's like a studied tumbler. Um, I, I always drink out ones that like these. I don't really drink tea or coffee or hot drinks, so um, this will be helpful because I've got a couple of the Disney ones like this with the four parts on them, and I use them all the time. So when I saw this, in my favourite colour, it had to be bought, and it was 19.95. I don't know if you can see that. You can trust me. <laughs> and then, um, oh, that's going to fall over. Then, and I'm not sure how you pronounce it, it's either Morph or Morphe, but I got the 35C Everyday Chic palette. It was one of their deals of the day or deals of the week, whatever it was, and it was down to 13.50. And this is it here. I'll just move that out of the way. That's it there. So yeah, I just thought it looked really nice. It had nice colours and I decided to buy it. Then that takes us on to Bath and Body Works. Now, if you've seen one of the vlogs already, you'll know what I bought. I can't remember which vlog it was, but one of them, I think it was the shopping day one because it was mega short. I just kind of mentioned what I'd bought, but I'll show you again anyway. So I've just got it all in this bag for now because I didn't bring the Bath and Body Works bags home with me but the hand soaps were on a deal they were five for $25 so I got two cactus blossoms one of which is already in the bathroom and then I also got champagne toast and there's the other cactus blossom then I got the Halloween one or one of the Halloween ones which was ghoul friend there we go and finally, champagne, apple and honey. 
there we go <laughs> finally focused <laughs> so yeah they were on that offer and like i say they were five for 25 dollars the hand sanitizers were on an offer as well they were five for eight dollars so i got champagne toast three cactus blossoms that's them there and then i also got another of the ghoul friends and then when i went into the outlet i didn't buy this at the same time as everything else but they had this wee witch hand holder and i just thought it was so cool for halloween so i bought that as well and it was 6.95 also from Bath and Body Works, they had a deal on the single wick candles. I was going to buy a couple of the bigger ones, but I think they were £26.95-ish. And I kind of thought I'd be better buying a few smaller ones and then I'll get more scents. So that's what I ended up doing. So I bought four smaller ones and to everybody's shock, the first one is Cactus Blossom. <laughs> it's so, so nice. It's um, cactus flower petals, fresh citrus and vanilla coconut. It's so nice, really love that scent. Then the next one I got was Frozen Lake. So it was Frozen Lake and it said lavender leaves, cool eucalyptus, juniper berries with natural essential oils. So that's that one and it really reminded me of Flight of Passage, the bit where you're flying over the water. Um, so yeah that I had to come home with me. The next one that I bought was Autumn Woods. Again it kind of reminded me of a ride, I'm not sure which one but that's it there and it has dark walnut, English lavender, white amber with natural essential oils. Again I don't know what ride it reminded me of but I just thought it was really nice so I got that, a nice autumn scent and then finally I got Girlfriend. So that's the Halloween one again. And it says dark strawberries, ghostly pu peony. I can never say that word. Peony. Um, spine chilling citrus with natural essential oils. Yeah. So really chuffed with everything from Bath and Body Works. I would easily have bought way more than that if I had the luggage allowance for it because everything in that shop smells amazing. However, I'm really happy with what I did get and I know that'll keep me going for quite a wee while until hopefully we get back or, I don't know, some nice person brings me some back. <laughs> but we have the outlets. So we mainly went to the ones at Vineland Avenue. I've always really liked those ones but I didn't feel there was that many good deals this time. I don't know if it was because of the pound to dollar rate being what it is just now. I think it's like 121, which obviously isn't great. Um, or if we just went at a bad kind of time because they didn't have as many offers on as what they normally do. However, I still did leave with a handbag. <laughs> so I um, went into Kate Spade and this one did actually have a couple of offers on. I think it was 70% off and then when I walked in they gave me a ticket for like a wee card for a further 20% off. So um, I got this wee bag here and it's just like a wee kind of crossbody bag. It does have the strap but I've just not got it on it just now. And I think it took it down to about $107 um, for this. So I was quite happy with that wee Kate Spade bag. Um, and I've already used it a few times so yeah loving it and then in the Disney character warehouse I had really hoped that they would have the pumpkin Mickey ears but they were all gone it was more kind of Christmas stuff that they had in so instead of the pumpkin Mickey ears what I got was these <laughs> so it's the Mickey sugar cookie ones from last year I think and they were down to 4 .99. It doesn't say that on the ticket, but they were in a big basket and yeah, they were 4 .99. So Don't have a Christmas trip booked. Do have two pairs of Christmas ears now. So I'll need to book one at some point. <laughs> and then while we were in there, they also had, sorry, I'm just reaching into the bag here. It's like Mary Poppins bag. They had these wee trinket trays. They had one for Hollywood Studios and one for Animal Kingdom. And I just thought the Animal Kingdom one was really cute. It's got like the tree of life in the middle and then like it's Kilimanjaro safaris round the bottom of it, the redesign. 
that's it there and it was 10.99 i also got this belt it's like minnie mouse her little bow and it's kind of pearl effect they're obviously not real um and it's like adjustable it's got lots of um punch holes in it so that was really good i saw these for 30 dollars in the parks and it was 13.99 in the outlets so that came home with me and i've already wore that as well so i just thought it was really cute and i don't always kind of add disney to my outfits but i thought that was quite subtle quite cute finally at the disney outlets the other things i got were two christmas decorations but they are haunted mansion ones so i got this madame leota and she does actually light up. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, they're not from a Christmas tree. I thought I would just put them out with my Halloween decorations and take like the little ribbon off of them. So that was the first one I got, Madame Leota. And then the second one I got, also a Christmas decoration, but I'll just take that part off, was the Doom Buggy with the three hitchhiking ghosts. I love Halloween, I always decorate for Halloween and they were $9 each. That's it there. Next up we'll start with Universal Orlando Resort and in one of the vlogs, I can't remember which one, but one of the ones where we were at Lowe's Royal Pacific, I had mentioned just how amazing the lobby and the corridor smelled. So while we were there I checked to see if they had a candle and they did and this is it here pacific resort and it's one of those ones where i think it'll kind of make the crickly noise as it burns and it's it's like a really fresh citrusy sort of smell a balanced orange blossom blend that's sweet delicate and fresh so yeah it's really nice i don't think it's as nice as the corridors and the lobby but it's still really nice and i know that every time i burn it i'll think of our stay there the next thing was free because i had bought one of the drinks that comes with a free souvenir glass and bubba gum shrimp and this is the glass that i got so yeah then the harry potter stuff so i didn't buy much harry potter stuff even though i'm a huge harry potter fan because i've kind of bought it all before so there was nothing that was mega new that i needed to have but what i did get that i thought was really nice and this was 10.95 was um train tickets for the hogwarts express it might not show these very well but they're like shimmery um golden so one says London to Hogwarts and the other one says Hogwarts to London and what I thought I might do is like frame them beside each other and like the one big frame. Um, they're really really nice in person, I don't think the camera's kind of doing them justice but they've got like the gold foil on them and they're just really nice. Also in the Wizarding World I got another Christmas ornament and this one will actually be used for the Christmas tree <laughs> and it is a wee chocolate frog and it's quite kind of sturdy, it's quite solid and that was $25. Yeah. Then they had a lot of reusable tote bags in Orlando this time. They were everywhere, which I really, really like because um, we all know it's a good thing for the environment. So they had these Wizard and World of Harry Potter ones. It says Wizard and World of Harry Potter Universal Studios and it's got like the four house emblems or like the four house animals in the corners and yeah you can't really see it but it's really nice and I think it was four dollars so I bought two of those because I thought they'll be really handy for like either carrying books or like as a wee lunch bag or just jumping into the shops if you're only getting a couple of bits so yeah love that I got this poster and it's like all the sort of classic Universal rides on it. And it's obviously got Jaws, Back to the Future, E.T. And yeah, I just thought it was such a classic and I loved it. And it was $17. So I'll get that framed at some point and put up. And then finally, I got some Jurassic Park stuff. Now, it says Jurassic World on it, but I'm just calling it Jurassic Park because I'm ancient. But the first thing was one of these little stay cool tumblers it's got the lid on it and it's 
like metallic on the inside so it's one of the ones that will keep your drinks cool for quite a while which I love and yeah it says Jurassic World on one side and then on the other it's got the sort of classic Jurassic Park Jurassic World dinosaur with more flowers then from that same range I also bought this bag So yeah, I, I just thought it was really nice. It caught my eye the very first time we went into Universal, but it was $30 and I was like, oh, I'm not spending $30 on like a canvas bag. But as the holiday went on, I kept looking at it. And as it got towards the last couple of days, I was torn between this or, you know, the black t-shirt that a lot of people have got with a white collar and white round the sleeves and it's got all the classic um, Universal like rides and whatever on it. I nearly bought that but I thought I would get more use out of this so that's why I went for the bag and I forgot to say that the wee pink Jurassic World tumbler cup was $21. So yeah, that was everything that I bought at Universal Orlando. Now that takes us on to the Vault Disney World stuff and what I'll do is I will start with the free stuff and then I will make my way through the rest of the purchases. Some of them are gifts so I'm not going to say how much they were but um, if I can tell you how much they were then I will. So the first thing is we got some park maps and I know a lot of people walk right by these because you know the park inside out but I really like collecting these because as the years go on there's so many changes in the parks and it's quite nice to look back and go oh that wasn't there on that trip and then by the time we went on this trip it was and yeah they're just really cute and they are free so why wouldn't you want them so yeah first thing with park maps then because we were there while Epcot's food and wine festival was on they had these little food and wine passports so we got one of those as well Again, it was free, just sitting in Epcot beside where the park maps were and I just thought, why not? It's a wee memento from the trip. Then, the next thing was, I did mention this in one of the vlogs, but our tickets were from 2020, so they were like the older style tickets. My one was a Kilimanjaro Safari one, but I had seen in somebody else's vlog that if you went to guest services with your ticket, they would swap it over to one of the 50th ones. And that's exactly what we did. So we took this to guest services at Epcot, I'm sure it was. I'm just trying to get this to focus. There we go. And because it was his birthday, I went for Mickey Mouse. So yeah, that was free to do, no hassle whatsoever. It took about five minutes to swap them over. And I just thought it was really nice to put in my wee sort of memory box or in the scrapbook a wee memento from the 50th. Then the final thing that was free was we went to Olga's Cantina. So while the three of us were there, the server had gave us um, three coasters and we were deciding between us who was getting which coaster to keep as a souvenir. <laughs> and um, she overheard us and she just pulled a big stack of them out of her pocket and kind of, in a nice way, not in a rude way, like flung them over towards us so that we could have a few each. So here are some of them. So they're all double sided. Some of them have obviously got doublers on the other side of them. That one's the same again on the back. And then this is my favourite one, the Ewok. That's like the extent of my Star Wars knowledge, Ewoks and Baby Yoda. <laughs> or maybe not that bad, but yeah, they were really cute and they were free. So that was really, really good as well. <laughs> Next up, I had asked in my Instagram stories whether I should get this jumper or not and 95% of people were enablers. <laughs> Thank you guys. So um, I got this hoodie and it's obviously got the hood there and it says Walt Disney World, the retro sort of typography and it's got a pocket down the bottom there and I just really really liked it. I had saw this on my last trip but I bought the t-shirt instead and then ended up never wearing the t-shirt because I think I said that in one of the other vlogs as well. Like I just don't suit the sort of unisex t-shirts, they don't flatter me at all but um, 
yeah I just I love this print I love this color so that came home with me and it was $55 so some of the things that I picked up in Walt Disney World were on Shop Disney UK at the start of the 50th celebrations and I just wasn't that fussed about them online and then I saw them in person and really liked them so I ended up buying some stuff that I could have bought at home but I didn't mind because I was having fun looking and yeah I really didn't mind. But the first thing that I got that I'd been looking for was a new magic band. It is this one here, it's got the 50th castle on it and the little tag says Walt Disney World 50th. Now it's not one of the new interactive magic bands. They came out while we were in Florida our second week. Um, but I wasn't that fussed about them. They didn't seem to be fully working yet. And I wanted one for the start of the trip. So I got this one because I'd seen this one in advance and I knew I wanted it. So yeah, I think I picked this up in Animal Kingdom Lodge can't remember how much it was but I want to say maybe about $30. I've obviously not got the tag because it'd been wearing it but yeah I really liked it and it went with all my outfits as well. Next up again this had been in Shop Disney but I think it went out of stock and when I saw it I just thought it was a nice wee memento. I don't collect pins because I feel that's a dangerous game to get into because I would want to collect all of them but I collected this wee one on this trip because it was the 50th one and it had Mickey and Minnie and I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I got that one. Most of the merch that I did buy was 50th stuff. I don't tend to buy that much from the parks because like I say, this is our like seventh trip to Orlando so we've already kind of bought it all. It's only if there's something new or maybe rice specific that I would tend to buy it. But because it was the 50th, I did buy more in the parks than what I normally do. And the next thing was this little magnet of the castle. Again, it says Walt Disney World 50 at the bottom of it. It says red on the back, so I'm not sure. I think it was maybe 14 99 something like that, 12 99 14 99 But again, just a nice wee souvenir from the 50th. Also 50th <laughs> was this. It's a postcard um, and it's like holographic sort of style and it says Walt Disney World 50 on the back of it and I just thought again that would be quite nice going into the scrapbook with some of the pictures that we had taken while we were over in Florida and Walt Disney World. I think it was 350 maybe it wasn't expensive. Then I got this Lion King print I think I showed this in one of the vlogs when we were in Animal Kingdom Lodge and I just thought the colours were really cute. I would have loved if they had more of them but I didn't see many postcards and this one was $5.99. I've got a couple of these pens. They, you can't really see it, but it's got the ear adesin mouse head. It's not focusing. <laughs> but it's got like the Fab Five on it. It says 50 and it's got the castle inside. And um, I'm not quite sure how much they were because they are presents, but they were just really cute as well. Then, I got this for my brother. Me, Joe and Jerry were looking while we were there to find something for Michael and to find something for Leslie. And Michael loves Lego and building things. He's got some huge Star Wars collections. He's got like the Millennium Falcon. He's got the Death Star, I'm sure. He's got a couple of the other things as well that I don't know the names of. And he's got the big um, Cinderella castle as well. So we obviously couldn't bring loads of Lego back because it takes up loads of room in the case. But what we did get for him was one of these and it is Metal Earth kits and this is an X-Wing Starfighter apparently and it's got instructions on the back for how you build it and we saw quite a few different ones of these. They had, I'm sure they had the Cinderella Castle, Tower of Terror and the, the wheel from Disneyland California but we just got this one this time for him so that was a wee gift. Also, for gifts, I bought two of these necklaces, little castles, and the silver one is for Leslie, Michael's fiance, our future sister-in-law, and I got me the rose gold one. I just thought they were really cute, and um, I knew she would like that, and I liked it as well, so I got one of each colour, and then that way we're both happy. <laughs> I got this in the parks, so I do wear a Pandora bracelet, I was wearing it in some of the vlogs but the combination of sun cream and the Florida Sparkle 
made it absolutely filthy so I'm going to need to give it a really good clean because my silver cleaning cloth is not doing the trick. So when it is nice and clean again I will add this onto it because this is the 50th Walt Disney World 50th charm. There we go. So I don't want to move it too much but it is the Cinderella Castle from Walt Disney World and on the bottom, oh I'm going to ruin the focus. It has the 50th stamp on it there as well. Um, I think it was $75 thereabouts. But it's a wee piece of history, isn't it? I don't really know why I bought this because I don't really drink hot drinks. But I just saw it and really liked it. And it is this mug and it has got all the different, not all, but a lot of the princess castles on it. And it says, once upon a time on the inside. And I just thought it was really cute. So yeah, I got that as well and it was $14.99. Next up, <laughs> we went on Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind for the very first time on this trip. It was absolutely incredible, absolutely loved it. I wouldn't say it's in the same league roller coaster rides as some of the ones at Universal, but it was still incredible, thoroughly enjoyed it. So to commemorate our first ride on that, I got this. <laughs> So it's a baby Groot and he's got the wee fake plant at the top of him there, a wee fake succulent and he was $24.99. Again this was on Shop Disney and I didn't like it and then I saw it in person and absolutely loved it. <laughs> so it is the 50th cup or the 50th tumbler, it is metallic so should hopefully keep drinks cool and then on the top there you can see Minnie and Mickey and the castle. So yeah, I just thought it was really nice and it was $34.99 but I know that I'll use something like that every day because like I say I use these cups all the time and work and I love them. I got this in Disney Springs, I had seen it quite a few times and kept meaning to buy it and the queue was always too long and then finally in the last night I stopped in at the 365 days of Christmas and I bought this, oh she's turning around, there we go. <laughs> I bought this and when you pull, that's what it does. <laughs> so I just thought it was really good fun and it was $22.99. So that takes me to my last thing and again this was on Shop Disney but it didn't look that great in the pictures on Shop Disney so I didn't buy it at the time and then saw it in Florida and loved it. <laughs> So I bought it and I took this home in my backpack because I wasn't sure it would last the journey in the case and the hold. And that was the sort of iridescent castle Christmas decoration. And it says Walt Disney World 50 on the front of it and it was $30. So I know you can definitely get it in the sale now on Shop Disney UK. But it is what it is. I enjoyed finding it. I enjoyed buying it. It brings me happiness. So that's all that matters. <laughs> so that is everything from my haul to Walt Disney World. I hope you've enjoyed having a wee nosy at everything that I got. I just know that all of this will bring so much happiness. Like every time I use it, I'll be like, oh, I got that in Walt Disney World. Oh, I got that in Universal. So yeah, I really enjoyed picking up the things that I did pick up. I know that I've not showed you Joe and Jerry's stuff because that's in their house and um, they weren't really that fussed about filming a haul. Can't think why. So <laughs> I think they've had enough of the camera for now. But yeah, they did really well as well. Jerry got his lightsaber, Joe got his droid, they both got trainers and a few tops and yeah, I think we all just had a really great time. A great trip to Florida as it always is. There were a few hiccups but it all worked out for the best, everything came together and we still had a fantastic time. Just, as I've said, just went too fast. Two weeks is never long enough. But yeah, I am not sure when we're going to be back in Florida to Universal or Walt Disney World. At the moment we don't have another trip booked. 
don't know how long that'll last <laughs> but we do have um, quite a lot on next year so I'm not sure if we're going to get it next year or not however I do have a trip to Disneyland Paris booked for this October October 2022 so if you would like to see the vlogs from that trip once I have been and recorded and edited and whatever then please do click that subscribe button click that you've liked this video and hopefully I will see you back again when they are ready to go live but for the now thank you so much again for watching i hope you've enjoyed all our adventures over in florida and having a wee nosy at this stuff that i bought while i was there and for the now i will say goodbye so see you later bye <laughs>